Mad Dog Motorsports here and uh, one of our first videos to the 2015 Derby season and uh, I'm sure even though it's been a while I'm sure you figured out by now that uh, the la first Derby of the year was last Saturday and um, I, I, I want to apologize for not getting videos up of this car because um, we did make some modifications to the car over winter but I didn't start until like two weeks before the derby and I just flat out did not have time with getting the car done and the reason I waited so long is because I'm working on this right now this is my buddy's truck I go to school with um, it's an 83 Chevy 350 small block dually and as you can see it needs new rockers and a floor on both sides but of course you know it had to be taken apart prepared so we got quite a bit of time in that and the derby kind of snuck up on me but we did get the car done we did get the run I just wish I would have had time to make a video for you guys because we did make a few changes the I think the biggest change of the year is the new roll cage that we put in here as you can see um, it's getting a little dark so I kinda got a flat uh, work light here that I'm using I don't know if you can see it but I got I, the hit that actually took me out and I'll tell you why it took me out was this hit right here on the passenger side door combined with the front fender and I don't know if you can see it in there or not but it actually pushed the entire cage sideways when that door crushed in like that now it bent a little bit down there in the front but it won't be that big of a deal as far as running the car again in June we had to get a new battery the day of the derby I found out my battery was dead I had to get a new one it wouldn't hold the charge so that was an expense uh, other than that though it was a really muddy night at the derby as I'm sure you can tell um, the rear end of the car this fender got caught on something and pulled out um, one other change we did make is this bar that we had going to the roof now goes up to the bar there in the center and to the trunk lid differently this fender got caught on something pulled out other than that the back end of the car is doing pretty much exactly what I wanted to on this side it's staying level it's staying out of my line of sight and the leaf springs are still straight I'm gonna clamp the leaf springs for the next dirt now when we come to this side that's a little different this side you can see the fenders humped way up but this parts pushed way down if I look at this leaf spring that leaf spring is bent in 90 degrees straight up um, so when we look underneath the car the leaf springs bent 90 degrees right right there's your frame that's bent in the first spot but then up there at the wheel I don't know if you can see it but up there at the wheel the frame is also bent right up there where it's crunched now the other side is starting to do that but the frame also bent right where I had it notched and the leaf spring did not do that because the frame didn't bend as hard so I'm going to clamp my leaf springs before the next derby to try to avoid that um, but other than that not much has changed in the rear of the car um, now I don't the other thing I want to apologize for is the truck heat and the 80s and newer heat we were trying to save battery and the heats were going a really long time in the trucks they were the video ended and I did put this in the description of the trucks they just kind of pushed each other around the 229 Suburban and the uh, 007 pickup Chevy pickup just kind of pushed each other around for the next five minutes until eventually the Suburban the 227 got his float got stuck open and the truck caught on fire so the 007 won the truck heat and in the 80s and newer um, out of the two that were left the PI the P1 SS actually ended up winning so or piss I guess was what they were trying to say but they didn't 
they made it a one so it wouldn't be profane or something. I don't know. But he ended up winning that heat. But they just kind of, it was kind of at the point where I needed to save battery. I don't, this front here kind of, this side got pulled out. This side, on the other hand, got pushed in really hard on one hit. Uh, other than that, though, the driver's side of the car is pretty much the same. You can see if I look at the roof, the roof's actually bent. Um, and you can see the exhaust kind of broke and fell off. But that's not necessarily the exhaust fault. This is what actually took us out. The motor mounts on the car broke. You got one motor mount there. And there's one on the other side, which obviously you can't see. But they both broke simultaneously on the hit that I took on the passenger side. And this engine just laid over. Well, when the engine laid over, one, it's not going to crank anymore because it's laying sideways. Two, I lost all forward gears. Um, and you can see I was trying. I broke the shifter and handle off trying to get gears. And uh, you can see all I have, if I spin this, is neutral, reverse, park. And it's just locked up. That's it. So I hope when I straight, straighten this engine out, we will get our gears back. But then also the uh, fan pulley got pushed into the radiator and just completely destroyed the radiator. So I'll have to get a radiator for it. But this car is still going to live on. I'm going to try to have her fixed for June again. It really all depends on how that truck goes. Um... Because, and the reason I'm putting so much merit in that truck is because the work that I'm doing, I'm being traded a 90, nine, late 90s Ford Explorer that I'm going to derby. I'm not going to tell you where, but it won't be Mountain Springs. Um, but I'm going to try to get this one done for June. I'd love to see this car make it all year, but I don't think that's going to happen. This side of the car is about worn out. I will straighten that door out, but even so... This side of the car is just beat. And even though like the frame up front is perfectly straight, you can see the core for the radiator there is perfectly straight, no bend. But it's a unibody, so it's not like I can just put body parts on the car, on the frame. I, there's nothing I can do with it. So one more definitely, maybe two if we get lucky and the car holds up. But... Uh, after that, when I get that truck, the 83 Chevy, done and returned to him, should be picking up the next derby car. And then, unless that deal falls through, but either way, after that, we're going to start building the old pickup here. Get that ready, maybe for next year. It's going to be a big build. But I promise I'll start getting you guys some more update videos. Keep you guys in the loop. And, you know, the Plymouth is still back here, too, waiting in the ring waiting in the weeds for an engine which is probably going to come out of the, the old pickup here so uh thank you guys for watching once say thanks to all my subscribers and uh we'll see you guys later i'll try to get some updates up of the car as we straighten it out thanks guys